from Ishan's Emporium. Today I have come to talk to you about something very unique. Something you would wonder in the beginning that what is it that this particular element which is such a common element that I am going to talk about. And this element is right in front of me. This is a simple wallet. A wallet and a Vasu Shastradnya, an astrologer, a numerologist, a palmist, who's been practicing professionally from last 37 years, what does he have to talk about this wallet? My friends, plenty. A very important tip is what I intend to give you from this wallet. Well, my friends, this wallet is made of leather, like most of the wallets are made of, or some are made of resin, some are made of cloth, and some are made of denim cloth. That's okay. First of all, do we know what leather this is made of? No idea. In most of the cases, people do not have an idea what it is made of. Of all you know, it could be cow leather. How far are we comfortable with using cow leather? No. Okay. Let us assume it is some other leather or it's a cloth wallet or it's a denim wallet or a resin wallet. Then what happens? I'm opening the wallet. Uh, there's money. Plenty of money. Okay, so what's wrong with money? A wallet is meant to keep money, right? So I'm keeping it back. Nothing to talk about it. But then I see some pictures of gods. This is Lord Balaji. This is Lord Balaji. And uh, here you have Vishwakarma. Then uh, I'm looking into the wallet. Oh, I see a Yantra here. A yantra, an auspicious Siddha Yantra. It's a Bajran Bali Yantra. I found these three. Probably if I look deeper, I may find more. But uh, let us say, this is good enough for me to explain and put forth my point. Now friends, Lord Balaji, Vishwakarma, Lord Bajran Bali, how far is it correct? To keep it in a leather wallet. Do you carry leather to a temple? Is it considered auspicious? No. Assuming you are not wearing a leather wallet. Then what is the problem? The problem is you keep it normally. Normally a wallet is always kept below the navel level. Below the navel level. Mostly the back pocket. Just imagine that below the navel level is considered to be an inauspicious area. It's considered to be a Shudra section because there are only excretory organs given by the world's greatest architect, the Almighty. And you have sexual uh, organs for tamasic purposes. Now, is it appropriate to keep these holy figures, holy Guru Maharajas, Yantras, Gods, Goddesses, DTs below the navel level where there is an inauspicious sector given by the Almighty. Then you keep it in the back, you sit on it. Is that considered auspicious? This is such a common error people make. Most of the people carry some kind of goddess, god, DTs in their wallets thinking it's auspicious or they go to some astrologer, numerologist, palmist and make some yantra and place it thinking it's auspicious. It will attract money. But aren't you doing something really wrong, awfully wrong by keeping it in an inauspicious segment of your body and then sitting on it? So my friends, please do not keep any auspicious elements like these in your wallet. And at the same time, I would like to add one small tip, one small tip further. And that is, do not use leather wallets, do not use black wallets. Friends, with this small video, succinct video, but direct to the point video, I hope I have got my point clear. Do not keep these auspicious elements in your wallet because you are not able to maintain the sanctity of them. 
whenever you keep this god's god is deities you have to be extremely careful that you are able to do do justice to their sanctity if their holiness their piousness is transgressed then you are doing a gross injustice to them do you ever have any right to do that no neither you nor me so my friends if at all you want to keep any of these holy figures keep it in the top pocket and also ensure the sanctity of them is maintained i personally do not suggest just anybody to keep any gods in any form on the body at all because you go to any number of places and not all places are auspicious and not all people you meet are auspicious you may shake hands with them you may pat them you will sit next to them and then indirectly the auspiciousness of these elements is compromised we don't want to do that am i right so my friends this is a very simple but effective tip and believe me i have seen scores of people carry these kind of uh, uh, pictures or yantras made on paper in so many formats and i always dissuaded them from doing so because this is wrong grossly wrong so friends if you have found this uh, video to be informative it's given you some new uh, line of thought kindly like this video kindly share this video and don't forget to press the subscribe channel friends we conduct regular workshops for those who are interested in the subjects of vedic vastu shastra and modern vastu shastra rudrakshas signature analysis and you'll find all these details and the link in the description box of these workshops and if you would like to join our whatsapp group which will keep you posted on our uh, future workshops please join uh, please uh, click on the link of the whatsapp group and you can get in there and if you want my ebook which is on a varied kind of subjects and with in depth knowledge do uh, go into the ebook link which will also take you there so friends looking forward to seeing you at various of my work workshops these workshops are intense in depth workshops thank you so much subscribe to us i keep coming up with these new kind of tips and very important vital tips where you can make your life more fruitful more useful more meaningful and you could be successful thank you so much signing off your professor dr manoj kalatri from ishan zeppuriam shivam kalyanam